So second place in the Austrian Open. It's definitely the best of all the results, but Gu Yuting has had tough opponents throughout the year. She's got the potential, I'd say, to make it to the deep rounds of this tournament. Round of 32, nothing too impressive for somebody who's world ranked number six, Coach Mika Baba, the national team women's coach for Japan right now. Again, seven-time national champion. She stood by Miu Hirano. You probably saw lots of celebrations and hugs after those famous moments from beating Ding Ning to winning the Asian Championships. Now, watching that tournament, analyzing footage of Miu Hirano, she was so aggressive off the bounce. Backhands wherever she could, finishing points as quickly as possible. But right off the bat and right off the bounce, she would take aggressive shots. This is something we see with Harimoto as well. Quite similar with Fan Zhendong. Unless you feel like there's really no way to get a decent attack in. What's the joke, guys? What is it? When you see three people laughing in the crowd and you're anywhere near them, you tap them and go, what? What did I miss? Either way, we will see Gu Yuting, a powerful player. Bigger strokes, quite fast from behind the table. Miu Hirano, since the Asian Championships, not completely silenced, but just hasn't sort of caused as much noise in the world in terms of shakeup being a serious threat to the top Chinese players. We will see. Cleaning the top sheet of rubber, Miu Hirano on the receive, Gu Yuting to start off, best of seven. And the tactics seem to be the same, look for the opening quickly and early, stay aggressive early. Look at this angle, inside out forehand, so calm and casual. Not quite Koki Niwa casual, but still. Deep push, middle of the table, stays on top of this spin, short stroke, bending away. <laughs> she makes it look so easy. One factor that made Miu Hirano so dangerous other than her quick attacks off the bounce was her subtle serves, that shovel serve. Very difficult for a lot of players to read the rotation. No problem here, Gu Yuting reads it like a book, plays it right into the body. A very short book at that. Clever idea from Hirano, but the pressure is on, especially with the fast feet and the wide wingspan of Gu Yuting. Well, you could tell what it was like for Gu Yuting in that point. Set up on the backhand corner, Miu Hirano finding the opening out wide. First towel break of the game. It's rare to see Miu Hirano not go for the towel. I feel like she's almost always the first one there. It'll help off the top of the net. Gu Yuting apologizing for the fortune. Oh, those forehand flip kills are gonna have to come down. Yu Hirano gets a ball that high again from this camera angle. It's not quite so clear to tell. Decent amount of rotation, deep enough on the table. Not baseline, but deep enough to cause some trouble. <laughs> Gu Yuting looking very fit and fast from that backhand corner. She doesn't move until the ball's contacted. When people ask about speed and training, power in the quads, where it comes from, why it's so important, the ability to wait until the contact. Ooh, nothing can be done here though. Hirano sneaking that one past. She's had a few quite crafty receives early on.
Pressure is definitely there to produce some big shots, but score-wise, it's clear. And just from the amount of times you can recall, Miu Hirano not succeeding on these big shots. From the receive game to the first big attack in the rally. There we go, down the line, full stroke from Hirano, a little bit bigger stroke anyway. She's got the time for it. Sees the rotation, lets the racket head drop low. And this is where those subtle variations on spin in the service game will be so effective, setting up these higher third ball attacks. Clever idea for the long push. Guyu Ting definitely fired up here in game one. So interesting, the difference in demeanor of these two players on the court. Gu Yuting, strong, fighting. For every shot, Miu Hirano, very composed, calm, relatively quiet. And even in these faster rallies, still quite quiet. Five game points for Gu Yuting to take the first. There it is, Gu Yuting 11 to five over Miu Hirano. We'll be back for game number two right after this. Back for game number two, Gu Yuting leading one to zero over the Hurricane Miu Hirano. I'm curious what it'll take for Miu Hirano to get to the next level, to regain control like she had in the Asian Championships. I feel like part of it will come with speed and leg strength. I think she'll be able to rely on her over the table shots with better precision and also recovery to follow up. Service warning. It's tough to see if he was saying the toss needs to be straight up. Even with the surprise factor on the second forehand into the body, wasn't enough to fool Gu Yuting. Quality block back. Nice closure against the heavy topspin from Gu Yuting. Quite low when she takes that stroke. The technique, just perfect, so relaxed. A little bit more underspin on that than Hirano would accounted for. Chop block comes down on the table, but left a little high, and Hirano stays statue behind the table. Decides it's not worth it to try and back up and become a, a lobber or a fisher. Gu Yuting starting to run ahead again. Last game, 11 to five. Gu Yuting comes in with the racket. Looks like she might pull out a strawberry, but just goes for a deep push.
Irano's playing a high risk game, but her percentages are too low right now. Here we go, spinny opening backhand from the middle of the table. It's one of the best things about watching live. You get all sorts of ideas about how you can play as well. Seeing it in person, discussing with your friends in the crowd. Did you see how she dug under that ball right off the bounce? Service received for Gu Yuting. She hasn't been bothered by it. I mean, I feel like I can't remember a time when she hasn't received Miu Hirano's serve well. Maybe there was an occasion or two where she got a third ball, Miu Hirano. Here's another one. You can only see Gu Yuting for that. But you know, talking to Timo Bowl last night, he said this was the thing about playing Waldner. He said the toughest player he ever had to play. It wasn't all the funky stuff that he did and the innovative shots in the middle of the rally. It was his serve. It was so difficult to win a point when Waldner was serving. That used to be the factor for Hirano. Maybe not to that extreme, but either way, it definitely gave her an edge. But quite the opposite can be said right now. Hirano hasn't found any good answers for receives. Occasionally a long push. I feel like it's been a while since we've seen an aggressive receive come into play effectively out here. But a shot like that's gonna finish a rally nine times out of 10. Push and then as soon as the ball comes floating back, Hirano has these quality shots. We've got a long time to see her and fellow 17 year old Mima Ito continue to climb the world rankings. Nima Ito was the first to break out of the, say break out into the spotlight. And then Miu Hirano in 2017 definitely stepped out of the shadows, but I think they're gonna keep raising the level on each other. I see some similarities in their compact forehand strokes. A little longer stroke here from the baseline. Hirano back within two. No timeout called. Oh. These are the aggressive attempts, the flips that have been trouble. Now with the left-handed, right-handed battle, it's a little bit more difficult in the receive, especially with a player who's so, I'd say, tall and has such confident stance on the backhand corner. Just leaves most of the table for that shot right there, whether it's a spinny, slower ball, or a big drive from the forehand of Gu Yuting. Something's gonna have to get her off balance or slightly out of position first. Four game points for Gu Yuting. And there it is, two backhands in a row. The spin to follow up the opening receive. And it's a two to zero lead for Gu Yu Ting. And we'll be back for game number three right after this.
Players come back for game three, and once again, the body language really says a lot out here. It's quite interesting to see. It's the facial expressions of Miu Hirano and the fire of Gu Yu Ting. Now there is drastically different pressure on these players. You play for the Chinese national team, you are expected to win every match you play against a foreigner. Interestingly enough, two German men have been changing that a little bit recently. At least the reality of the percentages. We will see when the men's singles comes into play, but on the women's side, Miu Hirano believed one to, in the future, potentially do the same thing. Obviously, she's already done it once this year. So for me, the touch game is going to be quite important for Miu Hirano. Again, receiving short. Not sure what's happening. It looked like she had some special something to open up the passages maybe to breathe in on the tip of the nose. Quick off the bounce backhands from Gu Yuting. When you have such a threatening forehand and such a consistent short stroke backhand, it doesn't leave a lot of options. Again, the short game. But it's tough to get into the short game with a fast, long serve like that. Gu Yuting wants these battles. She's starting long, quick to get into the attack game. She knows she's the more powerful of the two players and the more consistent of the two players. Really hasn't allowed Miu Hirano to play her game. Time out here for Miu Hirano. Conversation time with Coach Mika Baba. Now some of these wide shots, especially against a taller player, if you can find their middle, play it a little bit onto the elbow, following it up with a wide angle, be a little bit more effective. With Gu Yuting on top of the table like that, early in the rally, she seems to cover those wide shots. It could be a cold for Miu Hirano with the tissue there. There's no question about it. The temperature out here is not what most of the world is used to. And while it makes for a beautiful holiday season, players sometimes have to take extra special care. I love the demeanor, the conversation, the relationship out there was just adorable. Mika Baba, so gentle with Miu Hirano, even in a tough moment, just offering her some encouragement, <laughs> that moment that you realize you're on TV in the crowd. And Miu Hirano taking it all in, nodding yes, yes. Sounds good. Gu Yu Ting on the other side, fighting to win. Long push to the middle. Again, that middle, it's going to be effective here. Follow up the middle, deep push. And that's the way to do it, get Gu Yuting to step and take that backhand from a little wide into the elbow. Oh, there's the power from the backhand, a little break off the top of the net. What they say, luck favors the bold, the brave. Slightly braver receive this backhand here. That's the backhand that I forgot the Hurricane had. Just haven't seen it in this match more than maybe once or twice. Oh. It's Gu Yu Ting who's been in control from early on. Hirano not satisfied with a received game. Why not give topspin, she says. The push sits up a little bit. And she's chasing in the defensive game. And as solid as that backhand is, Gu Yu Ting's there and waiting to take it cross court. Now, Gu Yu Ting is not as young as some of the others. Obviously, the Japanese team, we see a lot of players under 20 years old right now in the world top 30. Gu Yu Ting, 22 years old, but still, 
I think we'll get to see more and more of her. I think she's one of five Chinese women, give or take, that we'll be seeing on the world tour more and more, despite being a little bit older than some of her other teammates. Chun Xing Tong, of course, taking her second title this year over Ding Ning this time. So smooth, that backhand. I mean, no matter who you're rooting for, I just feel like it's a learning experience every time Miu Hirano takes a backhand like that. She can manage to find that shot, to earn that ball. This is quite a specific sweet spot that Gu Yuting's gonna have to avoid. Better quality push this time. Again, Miu Hirano felt like she was forced into the push, but keeps it low enough and gets one back. Ooh, almost burned. Little help off the top of the net. And now Miu Hirano, what, in the lead by one? Sure enough. That serve is not getting the third balls that Hirano wants. Trying to be subtle with the side spin. Coaching staff in the background. Practice partners alike. Bold play, Gu Yu Ting taking that first attack. Off the spinny shot. So I guess it was Hirano who opened, but not enough to deter the power of Gu Yu Ting's third ball. Excellent combination, the angles. Hirano one deep to the corner and the opposite corner to follow. Rarely do we see Gu Yuting having to leap that far both directions. The second one gone. This is the serve that has worked so well. Hirano earning a slightly higher ball, comes in for the forehand flip. This is the point here. It's so even on the face of Xiao Zhan, trying to stay positive. Will his player introduce? And he does. Either way, Gu Yuting takes the point. Not a lot of height, but just enough for her to come in and take that backhand. Tucked at the wrist, it's 10 all here. First deuce. Smart play, the touch game. This is a key factor for me again with Hirano. In near the net, it's been so difficult to get Gu Yuting out of her attacking comfort zone. Finally, there's a soft flip. And on the run back, Hirano takes advantage of having the opponent in over the table. Game point back to the Hurricane. Ooh, let's service. Good fairness there, Hirano raises her hand quickly. Definitely would have been a breath of fresh air for Hirano to escape the game that way. But call it as you see it. Two in a row. For those of you a little newer to table tennis, no limit to how many let services you can serve. There it is. The forehand deep to the forehand corner and the Hurricane takes her first game. Can she come back? We'll find out. Gu Yu Ting is still up two to one in game number four coming up right after this.
back for game number four. Hurricane with the serve here. On the short side of the table. Oh, that's a weird thing to say. I guess I'll say on the lower half of the screen. Realize why that could be confusing. Back to the smooth criminal lean that she uses. There's that inside out forehand once again. Again, not a lot of room to get it past Guyu Ting on the forehand side. If Hirano does this a few more times, or maybe even by now, Guyu Ting's gonna have to give a little bit more confidence to her backhand on the backhand corner of the table, start to play the center a little more. Fault. Ooh. So if I understood correctly, maybe not. I'm thinking service toss. But it was tough to see the umpire's call. And tough to hear when we're down to one table. They will have the umpires mic'd, I would imagine, so you'll be able to hear the conversation, hear the warnings, hear the scores. Hirano in the touch game. Again, the more points she can win in near the net, I think the more that's gonna challenge Gu Yu Ting just to try and reinvent her tactics out here. It's pretty rare we've seen the first attack from Gu Yu Ting not be threatening enough. Like some flash photography there in that replay. Clever idea. Shortens up the serve a little bit to get a long push back. But Gu Yu Ting also quite steady in the blocking game, the counter. Heavy topspin, the arcing shot. When you watch the shoulders of Miu Hirano, the way she turns into that ball, it looks like she's going deep into the body, the backhand side. It can be quite deceptive before she plays it the opposite way. If you can deceive the opponent in some way, it will be to your advantage, especially at this level. Once they've seen almost everything, they're so good at predicting, moving at the last moment. Enough spin and aggression on that opening attack. Hirano takes the point. Serve comes long, right into the body. Quick turn from Hirano. It's a fine balance, having a specific plan on the receive but ready to change your plan as soon as you're surprised by the serve. So you can see that naturally there's a little backwards motion on Hirano's serve, but this one vertical enough. Again, the slightly shorter serve gets that long push back. Gu Yu Ting doesn't keep it on the table, but I think Hirano would prefer this to that opening backhand spin shot. Well placed right into the body. Gu Yu Ting takes back the lead. Even in those forehand or the backhand flip shots, keeping some top spin on the ball. Keep it dropping down. At the second towel break of the game, I will point out that this is one thing that the Chinese players do so well. They keep topspin on even their short stroke shots, even their blocks, that little extra motion, just to add to the aggressiveness of the shot and the likelihood that it'll come down. I mean, when you're attacking, topspin is priceless. On a rare occasion, you don't need it. Really high balls. The extra spinny loop there. Opening attack from Hirano. Takes her within one point again. If she manages to take this game, it's 2-2 with some serious momentum for Hirano. And the pressure factor again. The pressure is greater on Gu Yu Ting despite the difference in world rankings. Miu Hirano world rank number six. Gu Yu Ting world rank number 17. The length of the serve, it's on the shorter side and it forces Gu Yu Ting to try and find the opening attack. She's tired of pushing long, she knows what that feels like. And she knows that her percentages go way down. 
which he can't get in that first attack. Sounded like it caught the edge either way. A big shot here as wide as they come. Hirano impressing the crowd quickly. Day one of the tournament. Look at this angle. No edge at all. Clean on the table. Interestingly enough, it made a more high-pitched sound. Again, in terms of plot twists and pivot points, in the match right now, whoever takes this game will be in a pretty good position, especially if it's Gu Yuting. This one comes a little bit longer. Gu Yuting's able to get that opening spin shot. Kirano sizing up the opponent, looking. What does she think I'm gonna do? Let me give her something else. Fast rally, but two in a row. Gu Yuting has earned herself two game points for a three to one advantage. First backhand was quite smooth, but Gu Yuting's there to cover. And now she has two serves if she needs the second one. And there it is, 11 to eight, Gu Yu Ting takes the fourth game for a three to one lead over the Hurricane New Hirano. Game number five could be the last. We'll see what the young Japanese player has to say to the powerful left-handed Chinese Gu Yu Ting right after this. So here we are back for game number five. Gu Yu Ting one game away from moving on to the quarterfinals for the women. Miu Hirano has a lot to prove still. Proved she could do it once. Rocket backhands off the bounce, changing up the angles here. Keeping it relatively unpredictable. Confident play from Hirano. Tough to argue with shots like that coming down on the table. Single. Long push follows up, just covering the ball and smothering it. Redirecting it wide. If she doesn't take this right off the bounce, it's going to be within reach for Gu Yu Ting. If you're looking to improve your game, it never hurts to practice your block for someone who wants to practice their loop. Nice side spin there on the flip. Gu Yu Ting mixing it up a bit. It was Du Hoi Kem we saw earlier with many of those ice cream cone receives. Racket head straight up, a bit of side spin on it.
This is too clean of an opening forehand. Gu Yuting's shot is going to be powerful every time she gets a full stroke like that. And the placement, too, that ball exits the side of the table. Ooh, the touch. Short game for Hirano. Keep it short. Get the first opening attack. I think Gu Yuting is very strong behind the table, and if the ball's kept low in the soft touch game, she's given up, I'd say, given up more attack opportunities to Mu Hirano that way. There you go, the pressure. Short game, Hirano. Kasumi Ishikawa there in the crowd. Just a quick glance. A face that we've seen on the world tour quite a lot. And back to the long serves, but is able to get back a weaker receive. Comes in with the, th the third ball strong. Oh, after two big backhands from behind the table. I thought for a moment, are we going to see Mew Hirano lobbing? Are we going to see her fishing? Nope. Just for a moment behind the table, goes for three big backhands in a row, but the first two successful, the last one no good. Still a one point lead for the Hurricane. Not closed enough, she says, drive over the top of the ball. It's tough. I think Gu Yuting created a little bit more depth on her serves. And Hirano hasn't felt comfortable to try and push them, keep them short. So Gu Yuting right now making her escape plan. That is a let. But Hirano's doing the right thing there to play it until it is clear that the umpire has stopped the point. You could only imagine how sad that would be, but of course, Gu Yuting would say, I called a let, had the point continued and Hirano missed for some reason. Second towel break of the game. Again, they are leveled at six points apiece. Coach Mika Baba looked like she was trying to get a word or two in there. Hirano has this chilling sort of calm and cool about her when she plays. She is very much human. Had a chance to talk to her at the Women's World Cup. As some fans had brought her gifts she had some delicious sweets from the region. Oh, after such a beautiful strawberry. Where did that come from? I don't think we've seen that received yet in this match. But the follow-up attack. Again, her strawberry did not phase Gu Yu Ting. Little help off the top of the net, a little fortune as Hirano quickly apologizes. And makes sure to finish the point first. The angle, the bend on that ball. Timeout here called by Xiao Zhan. Could see him get up on his feet in the background. The blurry, just the peripheral blur of the coach standing up. I think this is a good time for a timeout. Again, the last game could have gone either way. Wow. 14, huh? 13, 14. I'll try to get the story of what that means on the water bottle.
Those wide forehand shots, whether it's the forehand of Irano or the backhand, when she goes wide to the forehand early, her first attack, this is often effective against left-handed players, especially ones that love to turn the corner, as many left-handed players do. I was trying to think of left-handed players who were more confident with their backhand than their forehand. I mean, in general, the forehand, most players are more confident with their forehand than their backhand. Even Dima, you'll see, run around for a forehand when he can. I think maybe Karakasevich is one player where you will see him take his backhand whenever he can, because that's how effective it is. So back from the timeout, Mew Hirano let, there was a big flash on the screen there. Quite distracting, I understand. Guyu Ting keeping it real. Hashtag Guyu Ting from the block. Don't be fooled by the rocks that she got. All right. Once they get that all settled on that screen in the background. But good honor for doing that. I mean, it's really important to be able to read properly. Oh, but Hirano with the answers. Some quality receives there, Guyu Ting. Keeping the pressure on. And look at this response. Bold and wide out to the forehand again. This is the recipe. I love how casual she is when she wins points like this. World class play. And it's just satisfactory for Mew Hirano. Touch shot again in near the net, and the flash comes back. I wonder if Gu Yu Ting is going to be thinking about it. She'll be on the other side of the table next game if it goes that far. Top of the net now, tied up, nine points each. Third towel break of the game. Hirano realizes it takes advantage. How's this one going to end? That is the question that makes sports so exciting. That mystery, the suspense factor of anything is possible. Oh, down the line. Risky shot inside out, too. Bit of side spin on it to keep it away from that forehand of Gu Yu Ting. Wow. The risk pays off. The bold font out here. Game point to the Hurricane. And she plays it into the middle, keeps it alive, 11 to nine, taking game number five. Mew Hirano, the Hurricane, with her second game, still down 2-3. Guyu Ting looking to finish in six. Mew Hirano looking to give the crowd a show. Game number six coming up right after this. Game number six to start. Mew Hirano, a little bit of momentum here, wins the last game and starting off here with the serve. ITTF photographer Remy Grote in the background, the magic man with all those great shots you see. Serious pace, aggressive. Now that flash on the LED board that Mew Hirano hadn't seen before. Oh, polar bear, free hugs. Nothing keeps you warmer than a hug with a polar bear. 
I mean, inside, of course, polar bears in their natural habitat, you're gonna be pretty cold, so will the bear. Ooh, top of the net doesn't come down. Yuya Oshima in the background, little video bomb there. The service length of Guyu Ting. So good to set up her third ball. No, oh, what an answer. The third ball with the backhand, combination play as she starts to turn the corner and Mew Hirano is like, nah, I'm going the other way. You want it here? Sorry, not today. We don't have that on the menu. Backhand side of the table, yeah, we just ran out shot before. I was so impressed with the receive from Hirano to keep that serve short. She touched it just right. And with the opening attack, still wasn't able to really gain control on the point. Oh, what an effort. That ball off the top of the net comes right down to the baseline. And then a punching shot back. Again, she ran out of frame a little bit. This is not an easy ball. That's a quality lob, essentially. And that last one just inside. Looked like she wasn't quite sure what she wanted to do to get it back. Tried something like a tomahawk chop. Nice change of placement. We've seen the wide forehand two in a row. Hirano ties it up. I've talked a lot about the body language, but for Hirano, again, this decisive, aggressive play. After the first shot or two, once it opens up, I don't think she can play soft for a moment. Unless she's got Gu Ting way behind the table and it's a question of picking sides. Hirano's quick off the bounce. And that's where she's been best this match. Once she gets her receives in, it was quick off the bounce, wide to the forehand. Follow it up to the backhand side. Once again, wide forehand for Hirano. Easier said than done, but it's easier done now than it was before for Hirano. Hirano made a big shot, but Gu Yuting was in position to make it even stronger right back. In these short strokes of Hirano, she's staying aggressive and on top of the bounce. So it's that three in a row now for Hirano from down 2-3. Flash photography in the background, I believe. Gu Yuting calling it out. Wouldn't be the first time we've seen a flash. Still a ways to go. A little bit of encouragement here, though. A three-point lead for Hirano, doubling the score. See some flashes deep in the crowd. Oh, man. And now a four-point lead for Hirano. Sisters in the back. After all that work on the angles, looked like Hirano was trying to go one more time to the forehand, too. Once she's got that snow cone shot, the racket heads straight up from the middle. Good opportunity for Hirano to play the angle. Four, 
Clever placement, but Guyu Ting quick to get there. Second towel break of the game. A warm welcome for Timo Bowl, who's playing Yuya Oshima on the other table. A lot of eyes on Timo Bowl right now, of course. But you're in a great place, Guyu Ting under pressure against Mu Hirano. She's handled the pressure well so far. Three six down, I recall. Very spinny. You no, know, you can't fault Mu Hirano for going for the shot. It always hurts more to regret that you didn't try in those situations. Wow, Gu Yu Ting gets so many of these quality shots back. It's just putting more and more pressure on Mu Hirano. I love it, just like gliding through the camera's view there across the back line of the table. On the move, making these wide shots off the bounce. Tied up now, seven points apiece. Tough times right now, the last four or so points for Hirano. But Gu Yu Ting has found some answers. Second serve here. And a misread on the serve popped up and long. And when you think about mental toughness, remember, Miyu Hirano was down match points several times against Ding Ning when she came back to stay alive in the Asian Championships. She's down 7-9 here. Outstanding play once again. Right off the bounce, Miyu Hirano down the line and Gu Yuting gets it back and then the angle to follow. When have you ever seen an attack drop that short on the table? Wow, everybody gets one. Look one more time where this goes. Heavy topspin, yoink, no chance. Even the second bounce was like halfway from the baseline. Little charm there on the wrist of Gu Yu Ting, hoping for a little bit of karma, a little table tennis karma back. Oh man, no karma needed. The answer is take the flip back wide to the forehand after the serve to the middle. Beautiful combination, and Gu Yuting now with a match point. Hirano looking for deuce in game six. Wow, I thought it was done for sure, the long push when Gu Yu Ting gets that full stroke, but Hirano anticipates well and counters it back to the length of the table, saves the point. Every moment you're watching this, the tension builds. You start to anticipate yourself as a spectator. Moments of, oh no. Moments of, it's over. Wow, game point for Mu Hirano. Saves a game point and comes back to earn one here, two in a row. Oh, the feet, the frustration, poor Gu Yu Ting. Now serving against game point. <laughs> Clever idea, she avoided the long push, got the flip in, but that backhand. There will be another receive for Mu Hirano in this game, if she's able to flip it a little bit more to the middle of the table, a little bit more to the elbow, there will be less of a clear backhand answer for Gu Yu Ting. Either way, she's got to make good use of this serve here. Ooh, heavy underspin. I was just thinking short and low to the middle or backhand side. 
Nonetheless, surprising contact. Game point once again from Yu Hirano. Again, two big shots from Hirano, that wide angle, the inside out forehand. Gu Yuting so fast on her feet, those wide reaching shots. Very short stroke with that last forehand, getting ready for the big counter. Fourth towel break of the game. Whenever I say that, you know what the score is. She makes it one shot longer in this rally and goes risky instead of the cross-court shot. Playing bold off the bounce. There's one down the line. Hello, other line. It's your friend, the Hurricane. How I've missed you. Game point back to Hirano. The missed in that sense, of course, was emotionally. Mew Hirano didn't miss the down the line shot. Not a bad receive for a let's serve. Wow. Another let's serve. Still game point for Mew Hirano. The backhand does it, the kicking backhand, and Gu Yuting will have to play a game seven, while Mew, the Hurricane Hirano, has the opportunity to play a game seven, and you have the opportunity to watch. Stay right here, the decider coming up right after this. Here we go, game number seven. Buckle your safety belts, folks. Keep hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Gu Yu Ting to start off game seven with the serve. Love all. Forehand flip, she wants to stay forward on that second ball. So interesting how different the body position can affect just even the weight forward, the balls of your feet. <laughs> Too good. Bending backhand from Gu Yu Ting. Two first points on her service. Hirano will have the opportunity to do the same. And it looked like a good opportunity from here. Hirano's made tougher shots. Definitely capitalized on that opening forehand down the line before. Pretty low shot though from Gu Yuting. From that angle, you could see it wasn't as high as it appeared. Oh, service error. Two services broken. So Hirano creating a bit of a deficit, or maybe I should say 
Well, at least on that last point, but Gu Yuting nonetheless keeping the pressure on up 4 0. Not a point dropped yet for 22 year old from China, Gu Yu Ting, as they switch sides of the table to keep it balanced in game seven. Keep the entire match balanced, that is. We've seen greater comebacks before. Is Miu Hirano capable here? The way Gu Yu Ting's playing right now. Will have to require some serious changes on both players' sides. And a well played serve. Hirano handcuffed, does not want to go into the long push and does not want to give a weak flip. It hasn't worked in a while. Tries to play it off the back of the table. First towel break of the game, and Hirano has no points to clean. There it is, first point for Hirano. Two follow-up forehand attacks, middle and forehand. One to the backhand. Off the bounce still, even while she's moving. She's very sure to keep her timing on top of the bounce. Nice patience, Hirano with their second point. What seemed like a potentially unrecoverable lead Four points between them now, still relatively early in the game. And again, Hirano hasn't gotten too many receives popped up like this. Her serve for many players around the world is tough to receive. But Gu Yuting has had very little trouble with it so far this match. Again, the toughest shots in this rally Hirano made. She played the receive just like she played the shot that won the point the game before, that third ball. Waited patiently to see where the opponent went, waited for the ball to come a little deeper. Played for placement. Gu Yuting back up by five. No, oh, down the line, completely burned. Left it on the stove too long and it is black all over the bottom now. Look at this, a short no stroke shot. Gu Yu Ting can feel her pain. Still with a four point lead though. No, oh, again, surprise. I was just thinking to myself, watching the eyes of Mew Hirano, if she's gonna come back and win this match, it's just creepy how calm and cool she stays. Waldner always said, don't let your opponent see your frustration. Miu Hirano is living that out here. She's won four out of the last five points from down 0-6 and has a second serve here to come within two points. And she does, second towel break of the game. And the towel that will be receiving the most sweat would be that of Gu Yu Ting. If she goes to the towel, she's pacing around in the backcourt looking for answers. Neither player? Okay, Gu Yu Ting makes her way over to the towel box and so does Miu Hirano. Some time has passed. Wow, stress settling in. Still a two-point lead and two serves here. Good placement there, deep to the backhand corner. Hirano up on one foot. Not able to stay on top of the bounce. Not comfortably anyway. Pin shot to the middle, gets the backhand out of Gu Yuting. A taller player will be inclined to take that backhand from the middle. The more efficient stroke, Hurricane twisting. Hurricane turning. The parallel forehand comes down, but not the backhand. Inching ever closer to the finish line, Gu Yu Ting. A show of relief. 
One and almost two. The pattern's nice. If she can make that shot, it's going to be effective. Win the point outright, who knows, but it would definitely help her chances. That parallel again, not quite parallel, but short side of the table. Kirano still within two. Straight side spin on the serve. And the follow up as Gu Yu Ting tries to recover from turning the corner in anticipation. Takes her time and spins it with the backhand. One point game. Miu Hirano, as cool as the temperature outside, negative 28 degrees Celsius. Gu Yu Ting trying to stay cool as well. Still up by one. Oh, what a spot! right to the corner of the table. A response like that under pressure. Gu Yu Ting, blowing on the hand, managed to keep it cool. Earlier in the match, I said it before, and it's always easy to second guess, but when Miu Hirano plays it decisively to the backhand, Gu Yu Ting's response time has been a bit quicker and the quality of her shot has been a bit better. Two match points for Gu Yu Ting. World rank number 17 to take down world rank number six. Oh, it doesn't climb over the net. One match point saved by the Hurricane. And a second serve here. This game will be decided by the narrowest of margins. It will be two points in game seven. Hirano makes the sad face after the ironic Rai smile. And Gu Yu Ting, what a get out of jail free card. She had earned match point, no question about it. An impressive performance for Gu Yu Ting. But a breath of fresh air as she escapes the match. And Miu Hirano, amazing to have this attitude at a moment like this. Tries to keep it short. And the top of the net, no, oh no, she says. And an outstanding match from both players.